crew uh coming to you giving you my afterthoughts on the eagles and cowboys game man you had the cowboys coming into the link beating the eagles on their home turf and um there's a lot of questions that uh need to be answered unfortunately we don't have them you know um whether you're talking about blown coverages uh mistakes uh fumbles interceptions you cannot have mistakes and expect to be the top tier team and that's exactly what the Eagles did this game, you know. Um, and, and then you want to talk about uh, Bradley Fletcher, uh, Kerry Williams, Josh Huff. I mean, I don't know what happened. It seemed like the ghost of Nandi Asimwa came and invaded the Eagles secondary this game, you know. And, um, you know, the ghost of Eagles passed, you know. And, and now we're suffering the consequences because I don't understand how you let Des Bryant and Tony Romo come in and torch you for three straight scores. I don't get it. And then dumb mistake after mistake, 40-yard pass interferences. I don't get this, man, muffed uh, kickoffs. It's like, man, the Eagles are not playing up to their true potential. And the sad part about it is, honestly, the Eagles are a top-tier team in the NFL. Sadly enough, the Cowboys are too right now. You know what I mean? Whether you want to admit to it or not, uh, they do have a good squad, but we are capable of beating them. You know, Thanksgiving Day was proof positive of that. But you don't let a team like that come into your house and take away a victory from you, you know. And the thing that I've been telling people, you cannot rest on like, you know, this nine and seven. I mean, I'm sorry, this nine and four um, uh, record because a nine and four record can even be nine and seven, you know, very easily, very quickly. From zero to nine and seven, real quick. So I mean, I don't know, man. We definitely have to do some retooling in the secondary. I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, you know, there just have to be a lot of stuff going on, man. Because now we're going into the final two games of the season. We go in against the Redskins with RG three and a comparable receiving core that's going to give our secondary problems. Not to mention our rivals, the Giants, even though their record is trash. But you still got to think they have Eli Manning and a young sensation in Odell Beckham, who's basically been tearing up everything. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, hey, we got our work cut out for us. And if we don't get better, we won't get there. You know, that's the that's the true thing. You know, if we're not a good team, we're not going to make the playoffs. And to be honest, if we can't beat these last two teams, we don't deserve to be in the playoffs.